Hi everyone. Today I'm going to read a story that is a modern day version of an old favorite tale, The Little Red Hen. The Little Red Hen, of course, made a cake and nobody wanted to help her. The story today is from the southwest of the United States and it's about a food that we're all eating now. It's a story about Burroughs tortillas and it is by Terry Ewald. And there he is. And look at his stuffed animal. It's just like he is. Once upon a time, not so long ago, a little girl saw that the corn had grown very tall, and right away he thought, tortillas. He called to his friend, <laughs> amigos? The bobcat, the coyote, and the jackrabbit came immediately. Amigos, look at this wonderful corn, said the girl. Who's going to help me pick the corn so we can make tortillas? Yo, no, said the bobcat. I'm too cool cat, to pick corn. Yo, no, said the coyote. I'm taking a coyote break. Yo, no, said the jackrabbit. I'm really got to hop along. Well, there he is sitting very sad. He said, I guess I'll have to pick the corn myself. So he did. He picked so much white corn that he could hardly carry it home on his back. But he still had his little stuffed animal with him. Look at that right there in the corn bag. When he got home, he gathered his friends again. Amigos, he said, I have picked the corn. Who's going to help me remove the kernel? Yo, no, said the bobcat. Scratch me from that job. Yo, no, said the coyote. I'm doing trickier things. Yo, no, said the jackrabbit. I'm having a bad hair day. Then I guess I'll have to remove the kernels myself, said the girl. And he did. He took the corn and he removed all the kernels from the cob. Then he gathered up all the kernels, boiled them with lime, rinsed them off, and set them aside to dry. Then the little girl looked at his hard work. He had done a lot, but there was still much to do before the corn became a tortilla. We are, he called. The corn is ready to be ground into flour. Who wants to use the grinding stone first? Yo, no, said the bobcat. I'm too busy growling. Yo, no, said the coyote. I'm too busy howling. Yo, no, said the jackrabbit. I'm too busy being all ears. The girl sighed, for he really was tired, but he was also very stubborn. Fine, he said, then I will grind the corn myself. And he did. He stood over the matat and used a pestle to grind the corn and looked his friends all having a very good time playing cards at the table. When he finished, he called again. Amigos, corn is ground. Who's going to help me make La Masa? It is not as much work as grinding, and if you want, you can growl or howl or listen while you do it. No, no, yawned the bobcat. I'm catching a little cat. No, don't. No, no, yawned the coyote. I'm already counting sheep. No, no, yawned the jackrabbit. Hair now gone to siesta. But he didn't. He made small little dolls. I'm sorry. He was very, very tired. He wanted to take a nap too, just like his friends, but he didn't. He made small little balls of dough. This time, he didn't even call his friends when it was time to put each ball into a tortilla to flatten it into a tortilla shape. When he finished, the girl looked at the results of his work and he smiled. His mouth was watery. Very soon, he could eat tortillas muy deliciosas. But first, he had to get them onto the grill before the dough dried out. He called for his friend. Meow, amigos, your naps are over, and we are at the last step. Who's going to help me cook the tortillas? Yo, no, said the bobcat. I'm too perfect to cook. Yo, no, said the coyote. It's not my territory. Yo, no, said the jackrabbit. Even the idea is hair-raising. Then I guess I'll have to cook them myself, said the little girl. And he did. 
He put each flat circle on the griddle and turned it over and over until it was fully cooked. Soon he had a big basket filled with tortillas. They looked wonderful and they smelled even better. And when he turned around, the little girls didn't have to call the bobcat, the coyote, or the jackrabbit. They were already standing right there, ready to eat. He looked at all of them. They only looked at the basket of freshly made tortillas. Who's going to help me eat all these tortillas? Asked the girl. No, said the bobcat. I'm trying to pounce. No, said the coyote. The scent is super. Yo, said the jackrabbit. Here's looking at you. Let's eat. As the little girl reached for the tortillas to share them with his amigos, he paused and he thought. And then he said, you didn't help me pick the corn. You didn't help me shell the corn. You didn't help me boil the corn with lime. You didn't help me grind the corn. And you didn't help me make the tortillas. And do you know what? Thank you. But I do not think that I need any help to eat them. And he didn't. He saved them all himself. And look at his friends. Don't they look hungry?